Good morning, folks. The sun unleashed a powerful solar flare in CME last night. In the last 24 hours, we've also had geomagnetic storms. We're in a radiation storm right now, and it is likely that Earth is going to take a glancing blow CME early next week. Let's break it all down, including an interesting coincidence about the timing of this latest blast. Let's do things sequentially where yesterday a very minor solar wind enhancement managed to trigger a level 2 geomagnetic storm. It is waning now, but worth noting, this stream was weak enough it should not have produced a geomagnetic storm at all. Then again, our magnetic field is weakening in the ongoing pole shift. Then, last night, the same sunspots that put on a show last month finally unleashed yet another blast. This time, as they were departing on the south on the right side there, it was one of the most aesthetically pleasing plasma releases I've ever seen. Definitely one of the most incredible looking blasts in the human record of monitoring the sun in this way. Just look at the activity here zoomed in on the departing sunspot and the size compared to the Earth. It's very obvious that the flash of the M9 solar flare, long duration, was accompanied by a considerable CME. Multiple components to it actually, which are most easily visible in the red 304 angstrom view. The fiery dance and release is so incredible. Let me go ahead and turn with the zoom and we will take in the full breadth of it. This is simply wow. Up next will be the CME on Soho. Clearly a proton storm as snow static fills the frame and a full halo CME. Even though the bulk of the plasma, the dense core of the CME, is likely to miss Earth, the wider burst of ejecta will arrive at Earth tomorrow night or Monday. No endless spirals are updated at this early hour, but we'll come back with more information as it streams in. Lastly, very strong high energy proton surge. We briefly hit a level 3 radiation storm here at Earth, stabilizing at level 2. This aspect has already exceeded what we saw last month in the record solar storm event. Interestingly enough, 13 years ago to the day, pretty much the very same thing happened, June 7th, 2011. The eruption that stunned the science community as it was one of the first huge blasts seen with the SDO satellite. This one also occurred at a departing sunspot, nearly the same location from Earth's perspective, and just like the one today, the dense core luckily sailed ahead of our orbit while the wider ejection did make an impact. As I said, we'll have to come back later when more data is in. Solar Storm Watch to kick off next week. Details to come. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here for right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.